Hey guys, the Eggman here. Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass, episode 36. Last episode, we went through the Isle of Ruins and got to this temple, Muto's Temple. This episode, we're just going to be traveling through this temple. So, to start off, you can see there's these switches here that when you press them, they're going to create a bridge in two separate parts of the map. But right now we just want to get ready because the their time switches as you could probably tell. And they're going to uh, take quite a bit of... Uh, they're... blah. Just blabbing around here. They're going to be pretty short, the time switches is what I was trying to say. And there's trap doors everywhere around here so be careful. Not like me. So you can just throw a bomb there. But what I was saying is the time switches aren't very long, so you'll have to use strategy like the bombs uh, there and stuff like that to be able to get across the bridge in time. So you can hit the switch right here to give a path back to the temple entrance. And you can come over here into one of these sequences. It's gonna be two Stalfos here. Just take them out like always. It's gonna end this sequence off. And give us a bridge up to this area where we got some pots. And the switch here is gonna activate that torch. But we wanna get the torch on the other side lit up too. So to do that we're gonna have to come all the way back to the temple entrance. And I fell in the exact same trapdoor again. Didn't learn from my mistakes like you're supposed to. But anyways, you just want to stand up there and throw a bomb down. Watch out for this trapdoor here that I just passed. And as you can probably tell, I cut out a bunch because I kept falling in that trapdoor. And after about three times, I finally realized that I have to pay attention to it. So... Yeah, just be careful for it, and you can head up here, and there's going to be another one of these sequences again with two Stelfos again. Great spin attack, works on them pretty good. And that's going to create another bridge up here with some more pods. Second switch to light another torch, and then we can head down these steps. Over here there's going to be, like, pirate Stelfos. And they're just the same, except they're going to be swinging a sword around instead of throwing their bones. But you want to head back up these steps after heading across the bridge. And head up these steps. Into this maze-looking room with uh, rupees and rupee likes. And I hate these enemies so much. It's so annoying. I don't know if it's just me, but I have so much trouble killing these enemies without getting sucked into his mouth like five times. It's probably just me, but... Anyways, you can just skip them with the uh, hit frames or whatever they're called. And just pass through all, all of them. And you might have seen these weird looking switches before too. They kind of look rusty and uh, if we stand on them they're not going to do anything. So hopefully we can get something to deal with that. Over here there's going to be one of these sequences with two Stelfos and a Ruby Light. Once you take them out going to create this treasure chest up there. Inside, we get the hammer. What is this, Paper Mario? But, well, not Super Paper Mario, because we don't get a hammer, we just get a pixel for that. But, anyways, just hit this switch now, because with this hammer we can smash in that switch now, and open up the door. Over here we got spring platforms, and 
you just want to use your hammer on them, fling yourself up, and these enemies are called shell spinners, and you can just use your hammer to flip them over, and then another hit to take them out. So just jump back down here, head down the stairs, and we're back where we were before. So you want to take out all these three shell spinners, and then hit this rusty switch. It's going to open up a door, we can head down. Now we're in a new area of this basement one. So you can see there's this rock here that we want to push to the right. So you're going to come up that staircase that we just went up. And fling it across, it's going to break the other rock, and we can head across these two bridges into another one of these sequences. There's going to be two of these pirate Stelphos, but with our new item, the hammer, you can just, one hit will take both of them out. You don't need to worry about their heads falling off or anything, so the hammer works really good on these Stelphos. And they don't even put up a challenge anymore. It's going to be two rusty switches here, just hit them both with your hammer. You can come across here, wait over in this uh, area away from the spinning thingy. And come along this moving platform, hit all these switches as you're going along in the Stelphos. Once you hit all of them, it's going to make this uh, spiky logs start moving. You can come down here, open up this chest, get the last courage gem. So now we just have one more power gem to get, and we have all the spirit gems. Up in this treasure chest here is going to be a small key. So we want to head back up these steps here, step on the switch, it's going to open up this door, and we're going to head to the locked door that we saw earlier. So this is where we rolled down the rock. So you can just come up here, open the locked door, hit this pyramid thing. That's going to lower the water in this room. And those those bridges, they may look like they're, they're going to hurt you, but uh, they don't for some reason. Looks like they're, they'd are they be spiky and pointy and stuff like that, but they don't hurt you. And you just want to hit those, that puzzle in the middle, and that's going to make all of them flip. There's going to be more of the, those puzzles, and the rule for them is wherever you hit, it's going to hit make this one that you hit uh, alternate. There's going to be blue and red, so... It's going to make the one that you hit alternate, and then all the ones around it, the uh, eight around it. So this one, we have to get them all red. So, what you can do, which I never knew on my first playthrough until I had to, uh, uh, like, play with it over and over again. It took me, like, an hour to figure out what I had to do is you can hit them on the outside. You don't have to hit on the puzzle board, you can hit along the outside and then that'll flip the switches around it and or flip the uh... I don't know what you call those things tiles, I guess and yeah so I have a better example here we hit along the corner there, we can just flip the corner one. And it's kind of hard to explain uh, how this works, but it's pretty simple to figure out. You can just play around with it if you want. Uh, or you could just follow what I did in the video. Either way works. But here we are in the basement one again, and this room is just huge. I swear we've been in here half the episode. But just spring yourself up on these 
platforms. And you want to take out your arrows, but before you do that, you want to take out your boomerang. And make that arrow switch uh, face south. That's going to hit the pyramid. And that's going to alternate the water. And we can get across here. So if we just make all these red, nothing's going to happen. So what we have to do is hit the pyramid again. I tried to hit it myself, but I missed. But when you do that, you can see there's this other platform here, and we have to align the top ones with the bottom ones. So once we do that, it's going to open up a door here, and we can just hop down and then spring back up, just one, and head into this newly opened door. Over here, there's going to be a rock, and you just want to roll it all the way onto the spring platform, and you can spring it up. But before we head up there ourselves, you want to come back down here, and there's a big green rupee. And back up here, you just want to spring yourself up, and then roll it, the uh, rock to the right. And then it's going to blow up another rock, and you can come down here, get a small key, spring yourself up here. And there's some pots here if you need any hearts or anything like that. Come, on, look, come over here and you can use your small key on the locked door over here. And now what we have to do is spring this rock up a whole bunch of platforms. So we're going to have to climb up the stairs, or else uh, we just fall down if we try to spring up. So just spring the rock all the way up. Spring yourself up this last platform. Roll the rock a couple to the left. It's going to blow up another rock. And up here in the treasure chest, we get the big or the boss key. So, just uh, hop down those uh, platforms and carry the small key down here. And if you uh, drop the small key in the uh, hole, don't worry, you're, you'll get it back. You, you're not going to have to uh, jump down for it or something like that. But with all the stolfos taken out, I pushed the key off the platform by accident, so we have to go all the way back now, and just ride the platform down. So, just keep riding it, and... That sounded dirty. But, anyways... Just throw the boss key in the boss door. And now we have access to this next room. Spring yourself up three times. You can head down here. And uh, we're going to end things off here. So next time we're going to take on the temple boss. Hopefully get the last pure metal. So after we create this blue light, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.